Na 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 na. I double checked, so the thing should be working today. Because of course I have to double check. I didn't change the did didn't change the sound settings between yesterday and today, and you know this time they actually stayed. Welcome to what will really just have to be the last of the fucking Neo Geo's. I'm gonna go through it today. I just got to. I just got stuff, it tells you. So we got out, good old, uh, completely unfucking filmable 8 bit dough. Uh, watch it warp the fucking thing. Which I do, I do enjoy using, you know. It, it, it's it's kind of grown on me because it's, it's distinct, you know. That's the thing I like about all these controllers and why, you know, really recommend sort of, uh, you know, you don't have to get all of them like, you know, some kind of weird nut bar like me, but. For the ones that you want to play, like, you know, you can pick up USB fucking SNES controllers that are good enough, you know, like, I don't know, someone may sit and, you know, do a fucking thing about how it takes more fucking pressure to push the buttons on the fucking remake than it does on this one, but I mean, really. But, uh, you know, it adds that, uh, you know, uh, physical component that I do really enjoy. You know, it's the fun of having the actual machine without the fucking staggering unnecessary burden of having the actual machine. And lordy, it is a staggering unnecessary burden. All right, so the good news is we start off, oh, like, look, I mean, I don't know, like maybe you want to buy like a fucking Neo Geo Mini or something. I mean, again, I wouldn't, I legitimately wouldn't fucking bother. Like, unless you are already an enthusiast and really want one for the sake of having that fucking object, I just, you know. Do what I did. Get one of the controllers. You don't need a controller if you don't want. You know, you can use just a uh, regular old arcade stick. After all, that was, you know, also what they were born with. Um, but I mean, this, you know, these were the fucking great games of the fucking 90s in the arcades. And we're starting off with a fucking humdinger. This is, like, Shock Troopers is a, a fucking all-timer as far as I'm concerned. Lots of characters. Unbelievably fun core gameplay. Uh... You know, branching fucking paths. You know, madness. This one runs pretty well. Shock Troopers 2, bit of slowdown. Yeah. Restart, because as you can see, I was playing it for my own amusement. Da, da. Da, 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 da. Um... Mm. I mean, largely I'll just raw dog it, but like, I will, you know, having only four credits just isn't as fun. Um, uh, MAME is probably what I'd go for if you were emulating it, like... I mean, look, it's, it, it depends. On the arcade cabinet outside, I have it running through MAME. Here, I didn't want, like, to add another sort of... Because, you know, the arcade one doesn't have as many emulators running on it, and I don't want to clutter my fucking emulator profiles and shit. So, the arcade one outside's got MAME, because MAME is doing a lot of work on the arcade cabinet. You know, it's emulating the probably the bulk, let's face it, of the fucking games. Um, MAME's particularly good because it is completely, insanely input agnostic. You push enter to set what the button you want for your fucking thing. Um... And fucking anything you do after that, it will count. I mean, you want fucking hard punch in Street Fighter to be mouse up? Off you go, champ. You know, anything you plug into that... <laughs> Geech gone to heaven. <laughs> Damn, that's a good line, too. I love that one. Um, the Till Willager. <laughs> Alright, look, no derailing me like that. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> and so that's really good. Like, it's, it, it makes it really simple. Um... The reason I've got it this way here for this thing is because the approach, because I've got like the, you know, old console controller is, you know, I'm turning most of these onto the um, AES versions. So the idea is to have this be like the hypothetical Neo Geo home system, even though the games are functionally identical in every fucking respect. Like the games are identical. There are some options and maybe some settings and a few little bits and pieces hither and there that are different, but like, you know, that's about it. Um... Yeah, like a MAME cab's a great old time, you know, particularly with how good uh, single board computers are getting if you don't want to, you know, do a Windows build. The reason I do Windows builds is because every time I upgrade one of my computers, I have parts. So, you know, 
I, there was a point there, before I had all the cabinets and this thing set up, there was a point where I just had four motherboards with, you know, decent chips in them, uh, just sitting in their boxes downstairs, you know. Some of them had RAM, some of them didn't, and it was just like, you know, I had to get, like, a power source, usually that was about it. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to fucking really do anything. I mean, I... I don't mind having Windows as the, you know, basis for a lot of this. You can, you know, you can turn a lot of the stuff off that would sort of get in the way. Um, and I find when I want to do something weird, which is frequently, because I always like, you know, kind of the edge case emulation, like trying to get like the very most recent things fucking going. Um, I just find that a lot easier in fucking Windows. You know, like I've... It can be a real hassle to get that stuff started on, like you know, Linux or other systems, but I mean, you know, if you just want stuff, you just want to spend like, you know, I mean, I don't know what the Pi 5 is going to go for, but I mean, even a Pi 4 can emulate a lot, but I mean, at, at this point, the Pi 5 is looking like it could really, you know, cover things like uh, um, the killer instincts and stuff that weirdly struggle to run on weak systems. Um, but, you know. I mean, ultimately, that's a different conversation for a different time. I mean, look at this shit. Look at the, look at all these characters you get to be. You know. You know, they all got different shit. Some of them are faster. Some of them have a better dodge roll. Some of them have like a better default fucking weapon. You know. It's. It's a fantastic sequence, the Cousin Merle sequence. Like, for just... Cousin Merle is amazing. And just, yeah, the voice acting is fantastic. The line's fantastic. The read's fantastic. And then... Oh, Cousin Merle, really? Like, it's just... <laughs> it's, it's something I've taken to referring to as kind of like an iceberg line. You know? That'll be a lonely battle. So you got Jackal... Milky, Loki, Southern Cross, ah oh, fuck yeah, representation baby. And then yeah, you get to choose like jungle, valley, mountain. I don't think I've ever done the valley route much, I'll probably do that. Yeah, like the draw. I, I got a new GPU for the arcade cabinet because I'm trying to run like, you know, some PlayStation 2 games and stuff, a few things that do sort of need it. And like, you know, look at this shit, like, I left that guy alive. You know, destructible environments, you can like, hold the button, and like, you know, blood. Which you don't see too much of in like, the, a lot of Neo Geos. Ah. You know, you gotta roll, you have like a special weapon, which in this, you know, in Homie's case here is a boomerang that explodes. <laughs> ah, fuck. You know, it's tough, but you got a long health bar, so, you know. And you got like your little dodge roll. So like different characters will have different things. So some of them will have like a really good dodge roll. Some of them will be quicker on their feet. Different kind of, like everyone's got their own different kind of explosive. Vulcan cannon. Ah, fuck me. Where did all you cunts come from? Yeah, like there's some, some solid fucking violence here too. Like especially if you like shoot them a lot. Like they'll basically tear to pieces. This this stage this stage in particular is great for like the destructibles. Health meat. Yeah, you know the death animations are great. And I guess there's nothing up there. I gotta use the dodge roll more often. But there's like a little. I don't. Ah, oh, fucking hate these jetpack cunts. Oh, piss on. Boomerang! Ah. 
I don't think the flamethrower is the, <coughs> the optimum fucking choice for this. I don't like you little fucking Halo dudes. Um, you've also got like a close melee, and if you hit someone with that, you usually get like a little um, a gem or an item or something. Fuck it up. What? What got me that? See, this is a little... This is a little more helpful now. Heavy is good as well, because it's just machine gun, but better. Fuck. It's slow on the fucking dodges. Lonely. Um, so we'll go... Milky! <laughs> Uh, honestly, she's probably a slightly better choice, like, just cause, you know, she's fucking quick, like, the wee little fucking girls are nimble. Yeah, see, so, like, if you, 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 the thing is, you can't be holding the attack button to, like, get the melee, you have to sort of, like, be mashing which can cut off your uh, shots. So getting close can be a little tricky, but... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Stop doing that, your rings. Ah! Pushing fucking dodge. Fucking destroying these fucking things. Destroying them is a much better idea. <sighs> you know, yeah, characters get... Nah, you cute. You know, characters get, like, you know, different stances when they get, like, wounded and stuff like that. You get off Cecilia, you beast. I really feel like it's only a matter of time until we have some kind of terrorist organization leader who did completely grow up watching enough anime to pull some bullshit like a cape and ridiculous hair. Only a matter of time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I quite like Wild Guns. It was one of the, you know, great SNES games. Got a fun Steam remake, but it's one of those ones, mate, I can't remember the name of them, but they fucking... Such a, a bastard to get running on my arcade cabinet for some weird reason. Like the, it just doesn't detect the controls, which is fucking vexing. I'm gonna try and get one of the violent deaths. Ah, you fucking mutt. Those five bit faster than I thought. Meat! Ground meat! Yeah, fast characters are so much better for this. It's just. <laughs> like, the heavies usually do more damage, but fuck me, man. Like. Thought I'd be able to walk through that. Didn't. And, like, yeah, if you're melee guys, you might get, like, health and stuff like that. It's not always, and it's usually, like, just, like, a little amount. Usually, you get, uh, yeah, just gems! I touched the red gem, and then they all died. Yeah. Die, die, die! But yeah, I mean, this is this is one that it's just like if you're bored today, download this and play it. You know, it is it is fucking great. Like it's just no, God. I don't know if I can fucking 
beat this guy without fucking dying, that'd be nice. There's like, ah, penis ass butt fuck. You know, some like little bullet hell components. Well, a big thing is like, you can you can get shot a lot before you die, like that big long health bar. Like that's a, that, that that does count as one credit, so you only get like kind of one life. But um, you know you 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 do have like, you can take a lot of hits, you know, and it does it really does, just make it a lot more fun. And as a result of that, you know, it's not like you take a lot of hits, you get to the game end of the game easy. What it means is you know they've then added a commensurate amount of interesting shit and like you know challenge and stuff going on. Shock Troopers, second squad, which for some reason downloads the video of Shock Troopers 1. I don't know why that's there. Um, Shock Troopers, second squad, has like some of that pre rendered 3D stuff going on. It's not as bad as you'd think, but it's not great. Like, I do prefer the sprite look, but, um. Uh, fucking hell, I gotta deal with this shit. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, I have a solution. I should be. It should work. Or it won't, you never know. Yep, it is, it's just doing that thing where it does it in the background. A big help there, guys, that's great. Why are they two? Why are they two up? You are displeasing me. Alright, so I can get rid of that. Okay, let's try something else. Do this the old fashioned slow ass goddamn way. So sometimes when there's a f sloppy interaction between these things, you gotta fucking just go into the goddamn drive and fucking do it the old way. Oh, that's street hoops. Okay, well, at least I'm getting a fucking error fucking message there. Alright, that's weird. Well, that's peculiar. It's gonna have to be another time then. I mean, that's kind of a bummer, because Shock Troopers 2 isn't bad. But it's. You know, they use the pre rendered things, which I'm just not a big fan of, and it also runs not great. Um, I have a bunch of handhelds emulated on this. I don't play them a lot, though. I mean, one thing I do have... Uh... Let's go back to here for a second. So, I've got... 
old Game Boy. All right. Seems like a regular old-fashioned Game Boy. But, you buy the right shit, like this little doohickey, and the right thing here, like uh, this little doohickey, this cartridge, inside gadgets, this becomes a controller for this. So I can actually play old Game Boy games using the Game Boy. That was a novelty that I just couldn't say no to. It also, uh, I've got a similar one for the Game Boy Advance as well. So, diddly dip. Um, yeah, called Inside Gadgets. You could, they're probably still going, I don't know. Like I got these a little while ago, but um, I think they're really nifty. Um, generally though, I mean, there are a few situations like, it's an arse egg to try and emulate you know, anything that needs a touchscreen on a PC, unless, like, I, I do have a touchscreen that I want to try and connect to this as a second screen with a uh, clamshell controller around it and play, like, 3DS and DS that way. But I'm struggling. I, th I think the 3DS one allows you to put the second screen onto a different fucking um, monitor. One of them doesn't, which is just really fucking annoying to me. And the fucking autismo that, like, designed it is just, like, just use, like, NVIDIA and spread the screens. And it's just, like, you fucking munt. Um, but, yeah, like, with the right shaders, like, the old, you know, there are things that you can get that'll, like, kind of make it look like the old screen by softening some of the edges. But also put, like, the, you know, the LCD grid up and have the blur. So it will look okay. Um, but, I mean, ultimately... You know, even a really cheap uh, handheld emulation device will comfortably run. Like, even up to around DS. 3DS is hard. Don't, you know, buy, you know, a kind of handheld thing and you're going to easily manage 3DS because it's pretty much only the upper echelon um, of, you know, Android handhelds that'll run it. Like, at least for now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, for like, you know... For everything else, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, you know, a lot of DS will run fine. Like, I ran a lot of DS fine on the, um, the Retroid 2 Plus, which wasn't as powerful as the 3 Plus. Uh, you know, it stuff does look, you know, a bit better, just because they were designed for tiny little screens. <laughs> I should cheat. Yeah, I mean, a modded 3DS can be a way to go. I just, you know, hyper foot. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, fuck you. Come back here. Uh, USA console. I mean, there is some, but like, you know, a lot of them, you know, like fucking most of the games will use the touchscreen for stuff. And even the simpler games that use it are like, you know, it's fucking inconvenient to have to do that with a mouse. Like, Fucking believe me. Like, I've played DS games on, you know, the handheld with the touchscreen. And even with my finger doing, like, the fucking, you know... League mode. I don't think I've ever played this. I mean, I must have at some point, because I'm pretty sure I have played all of these fucking games. I had to download the whole thing and go through it once, but, like, this did not stay in my brain. Superdome. This... <laughs> hypothesizes... Uh, that's great. A uh, 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 distant future where soccer is popular in the United States. Like, there are some mods that you can get that'll do stuff for things like the Zeldas, like, that make it so you can just, you know, control it with a D-pad. But you will still need the touchscreen for... Oopsies. Okay, well, I learned what kick is. Ah, oh, miss me, bitch. That guy fucking hadouken me. Alright, I gotta learn to not just push buttons. Okay, oh, I jumped. That's pretty sweet. Oh, fuck yeah. 
Okay. Alright. Hmm. Ow. Ah, miss. I'm not sure what the power meter is f for exactly. There's a mod version of that that'll just... It just takes the fucking... Ah, uh, what? Goal! Alright. I mean, like, I don't need to spend a lot of time with laser soccer from Beyond the Veil. Like, it doesn't seem bad, but I just don't care about soccer. You know. If you enjoy soccer, robot soccer on the Neo Geo might be fun. <laughs> Spin Master. This is one I haven't played much either. Um, yeah, there's a thing that just... There's a mod for the, the Castlevania. Because uh, like, it's only the first one that does that. And it just automatically... It just auto-inputs it for you. So, you know. You can just play it. And I, I, I recommend it. Because the fucking DS Castlevanias are fucking good. Like, particularly that first one, funnily enough. That needs the fucking... You know... Runes drawn... That's one of my favorite Castlevanias, actually. Data East explains a little bit of this. Look at him. What am I spinning there? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I like it. Do I have a yo yo? Like, it really appears like I've got it. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't know why the fucking, you know. Oh, get back here, bird. With my freedom stuff. Alright, uh, no, this game rules, actually. Okay, I've got like two of me somehow. Hell yeah, fire! This feels like. It's basically the same game as, um, Caveman Ninja. And I'm okay with that, because they did make a sequel to Caveman Ninja, but it was like a fucking, like, it was more like Snow Brothers. And I don't really want to, you know, I, I just think that was a, a, you know, Caveman Ninja's fun. I don't want Snow Brothers. Big buddy. Get out of here. Fuck you. Loving the oh, 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 oh. Ah, I should have kept fucking. Okay, so like my little guy. Oh! <laughs> yeah, like I really like. I really like the fucking. The first DS, like, the, you know, the one with like whatever his name is. Glove, okay. Hey, fuck you, Captain Evil Science. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> hey! I think mashing is better than charging up my big kaboom. Aha! You know, like, some of the music for that one's fucking amazing as well. Like, it's got some of the best fucking songs, gameplay's great, it's got all the fucking weird shit I love in a Castlevania game. Like, trying to get the fucking weird extra, you know, monsters and shit, the souls. Excellent. Oh, I can just jump down, sweet. I don't know if I wanted Yo-Yo back. Dardis was really like, what if the hero was like a yo-yo master? <laughs> hey, fuck you. Fuck a yo-yo you. Like, I think you can kill a scorpion with a yo-yo. You know, that's probably a real thing. Get him, Fisto! But I mean, these were the kind of games that you'd get on consoles a lot, but they'd never look that good. 
you know? It's never fucking close to that good. Like... <sighs> mm. Alright. I honestly am not sure how we're going to make horse racing into, into fun, but I'm willing to be corrected. Because I know there were horse racing games where you actually had to be on a horse, and you had to fucking hump the thing to get it to go, but I don't think that any of those were Neo Geo games, you know? I don't think Neo Geo ever had, like... Like, I think like, a big part of the point of it was, like, it just used the standard thing. Horses. Flanks. Haunches. Tiny men. Kind of stupid if you think about it. I mean, I'd be more impressed to see how fast a tiny guy could go while carrying a horse, you know? White heat. Euro Union, okay. <laughs> Hot sand. Asian hope. Brave lady. Be silent. US fighter. Sky dancer. Alright, well, I gotta go be silent. Look at that. I want, like... A horse that clearly has the Satsui no Hado. I don't know how the horse got taught that, but... I just... I, I fuck... I don't know what this is, but okay. It's something to do with betting. So, I just gotta mash A, and then occasionally mash B, but not mash B too much. I think. Out of my way, you can't. Alright, look. I'm not going to lie to you, that is not entertaining. I mean, they try though. I mean, look at the little horse face down the bottom left corner. You know, he's huffing and he's puffing. And you're like, wow, there's some character to this. But I'm... You know, like, you know... Like, they needed to make it so the jockeys could fight. Like, if you combine horse racing with Road Rash, you have a fun game. Or like horse racing and like Mario Kart or some shit. But don't just give me like, you know... Because at the end of the day, I'm just playing a game of horse spanking, and that's kind of weird and different. You know? Like, the horses should have stands or something. Horses hated my dad. It's kind of weird. I'm not even sure why. But just... It was such a frequent thing. You know? I... Because I just figured he was full of shit. Or, you know, he might have, I don't know, gotten my granddad's horses baked or something. Local Hope. Dance Step. Triple Crown. Supermodel. Quarterback. Blackbird. Open Heart. Surgery? What the fuck? Blue Angels. Shine Dancer. Scent of Rose. Earthquake. Ghost Story. Earthquake! Europe, America. I mean, this is so much razzle-dazzle, but it's just not fun. You know? And, like, I, I... I got my fucking soul turned around by, you know, Neo Turf Masters. Like, I've been playing that by myself, just like... Ding. I've gotten obsessed with the little voice that goes, I'm the green! You know? Like, let me fucking... Alright, yeah, look, am I, I don't feel like I'm, I, I feel like, oh, there we go, okay, now I'm steering it. Like, yeah, you can pick up, like, bits of, like, fucking carrot, you know, and whatnot, but, like, spank, spank, I will spank you. 
you know, and the fucking races are short. It's like, okay, I'm sure that's like how they work, but like, you know. The fan art's great. Like, I, I enjoy the art. Look at this, like, you know. No, not video. Where's images? Ah, oh, there we are. You know, look at that. Ah, doesn't that look fun? It's not, but you know. I mean, I don't know. If you like, if you really like horse racing. But even then, I think if you really like horse racing, you're not going to like that. Because, like, it's not really even horse racing. I don't know how you can really make a video game out of horse racing without having a big fake horse you got to fucking, you know, root in an arcade because you're drunk. I mean, to be fair, I did approach that cow when it had a calf, which is probably a rookie mistake. That's probably on me. Like, I'm willing to bet I was the problem in that instance, you know? But, like, yeah, this, like, fucking, just, I don't know, horses just, just reacted negatively to him. It's the, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. It was just that one goat that hated my brother. And, like, that illustrates the purity of animal feelings. Like, you know, feelings aren't a thing to animals. They just, they just are. You know, it's like water to a fish. It's not, you know, I can think about why I feel a thing and assess it and, like, augment it using my mighty human brain. Whereas, like... You know, for a horse, it doesn't, it's not going to fucking do that. It's not going to think, ah, oh, you know, a horse is going to, like, think, oh, maybe I shouldn't have been mean to that guy. A horse is just going to look at someone and immediately know, in the same way that you know gravity exists, fuck that guy. You know? Because I used to be able to go pet this fucking, like, my granddad's, like, mare had a foal, and so there's this, like, horse there, and it's like, oh, that's cool. I mean, I, don't, I haven't played this one very much either, so I don't really know. I mean, it's basketball, which, so, if I remember my NBA jam. Um, alright, what's well, pass? Alright. I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay, there doesn't appear to be any other, like, button. Ah, oh, fuck you. I mean, it's weird, because for, like, a game on the Neo Geo, this is, like, insanely plain, you know, for, like, a basketball title. Ah, oh, fuck you. Uh, I'm doing the wrong, I'm doing the wrong defense. I'm doing jump when I should be doing, like, fiddle whack. Like, there's a super short meter, and that's nice, but also, like, look, you know, sir, you're crowding my personal space. They should allow, like, fucking, you know, they should allow, like, I don't know, tackles, clotheslines, you know? Like, that's the problem, there's just no... Yeah, slam dunk, how do you like me now? Shut up and jam, Gaiden. I finally looked up the meaning of those. That sounds pretty cool. But I mean, like, you know, you're competing with NBA Jam Street Hoops, and like... You know... Strikers, 1945, plus. That's the war my granddaddy were in. Uh. And Densetsu. And I've decided my video game will be Densetsu Gaiden, because technically it means legendary side story, and I like that. Or, you know, depending on how the fucking Japanese uh, grammar is with where it puts shit. Play as Ascend P55. Uh, infinite super shot. Nah, I'm not fancy. Always max fire power. Hmm. Nothing about credits. Is that like a fucking stealth bomber chasing that fucking jet? I don't think that's fair. I like how, like, console mode for this is just like... What is that? Flying pancake? Okay. I did set it to fucking, like, console, didn't I? Is it just... Because it just said it's just free play, which I think is funny. Okay. Uh, see, like, this is one of the ways they get around you using, like, fucking, you know, auto-fire. Because you gotta... If you hold it, you get, like, fucking... Does my plane have tasers? Okay. I can call my buddies. That's pretty sweet. And they're still there. That's, that's aces. Yeah, I do. I have, like, fucking tasers. Oh, okay, I gotta wait for it to charge up, though. That's fair. The rest of the time, if you hold the button, you just get, like, rapid fire. That's cool.
So this is fun, you know, simple. My plane has tasers, you know. I'm not sure about like, you know, I'm not a military guy, you know. You got power-ups. The bullets are nice and brightly colored so I know what's going on. That's a lot of things. Get them, little boys. Ah, fuck. I was too busy enjoying my little swarm. My little fellas. Get them, boys. What the shit? I don't think I'm cut out for dealing with space things in my, like, prop fucking plane. You know? Like, I don't think that's fair. Alright, this is getting complicated. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's too hard. I'm too stupid for this. Ah, fuck. My plane's big, though. I got a fat fucking plane. You know? Neil Jill. But I mean, like, you know, every one of these games, you know, even the fucking horse whack, there's like, you know, you re there, there, there's that great sense of fucking impact and oomph to all the stuff, you know? Like, the bullets are good. The missiles that come out are good. When you, when you when you get really powered up, you feel like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, my, my shit's like better now. Get them, boys. Bake them away, toys. Yeah. I played one of these, I think on the Mega Drive, and like, it had like, a, one of its buttons was like, a scoot. You know, like, so it, it you, no, cock ass. I was hoping when I had my, do I not get to pick a different fucking plane? That kind of sucks. You know, I want different planes. Alright, yeah, it still says USA console. Alright, good. It really is a console. Flying pancake, spitfire. That's a fuck. Okay, I thought that said fuckwit. Zero. A fiat. I don't know what that is. Let's be the flying pancake. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll, like, save the state here so I can, like, you know, load it then and then pick something different when I want to. Don't be afraid to use your nails, boys. Alright. Go, Pancake! That's better. Like, that's better than what my last plane had. My last plane had, like, just t titty fucking tasers. Which wasn't awful, but, like, you know... Those those went full screen. And my get em, my get em boys is, like, I summon a giant fucking version of me. You know, which is... Ay! And the Pancake's a little more nimble, which, honestly, I wasn't expecting. I mean, I don't, you know, when I think pancake, I don't think, ah, quick and agile. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, the big plane eats the bullets for me. Alright, I'm powered up to fuck, that's good. Oh, fuck, it's like, it's... Like, I don't have the little twitchy, like, reflexes to nudge my way through those fucking gaps, you know? Like, because I've seen videos about the guy. The pancake's real? Ah, oh, I'm fucking learning stuff. Is this a different boss? Or have I had some kind of stroke? Oh, no, I remember those big blue things. Fuck off, stop it. I oh, know, I don't like you. Shit, shit. Alright, let's look at something else. That must mean all of these fucking planes are real. That must be how this works. These are all, like, real things. I didn't think a flying pancake was going to be real, but, uh, you know, here we are. Okay, so this one drops a little bomb that, like, creates a fucking, you know, explosion along the ground. Which isn't bad, but, like... Yeah, alright. I have my own get em, boys. I mean, I don't know. So far, flying pancake is, is taking the lead. Whee! Yeah, see, off, off it goes. Uh, that was a Spitfire. Alright, now we're gonna use the Fuck Wolf. The Fuck Wolf. Okay. Ah, that's some funky German technology. This one's got more missiles, which is kinda cool. Kind of a narrow shot rate, like, you know. Eee. But like, I think it's more concentrated as a result. Ha! Ah, miss me. I am navigating. I am learning. I am ascending. All right, that's rad. My get 'em boys is just the penis of doom. My 
god, he's doing it. I don't fucking stop it. Like, just settle down. Alright, alright, alright. Ready? Ready? Steady? Get him, penis! Ah, yes! Ooh, ooh. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah! Uh, what are we up to now? The zero, okay. Alright. Okay, that goes forward and it creates like a fucking boom. That's not bad. Alright. Similar kind of philosophy behind my secondary weapon. It creates those little sort of explosions that ripple forward. Those do a fair bit of damage, actually. They kind of stick on what they hit. So they travel forward until... And, you know, like, this little guy is small, which is sort of useful. Because, like, then you don't have to fucking play bullet smuggle the entire fucking game. Penis! Help me! Fucking god. It takes, like, so much active brain to, like... Oh, cock-ass, fuck. To, like, squeeze through those fucking things. This is just... I'm not... Alright, what's this thing? The Crimson Dinky. That's pretty sweet. Alright, got some funny little drones that sort of go forward. Mm, get them, boys. <laughs> like, I think I need to... Uh, fuck off, stop it. See, I kind of like this because you can set it and then go away, you know? Like, and I think that, that that leaves you with that mobility factor that you need. Like, if I want, like, a line of pricks like this. Like, look at, like, Thomas the fucking wank engine there. You know, I can just drop my little fucking explodey on my charge shot and then zoom off because I don't want to get, like, fucking hit by bullshit, you know? Yeah, like, there's a whole thing to, like, how to play these fucking games and I'm, you know, it's fucking beyond me, I'm not... Getting the little twitchy, touchy things so I can, like, you know. <sighs> oh well. I mean, that's as good as I'm gonna be getting at that one. That's fun, though, you know. Can't argue with these. They're not, like, bullet hell, hell, you know. Like, you only really have to worry if, like, your bullet hell stars, like, just a bunch of anime girls for no reason. You know, then, then you gotta be concerned because you're effectively playing a fucking diagnostic tool for severe autism. Um. But, uh,. You know, that's just, that's just, that's just good old-fashioned fun. There are a few that actually, I like, I don't think any of the Neo Geos have the data for analog input. Um, <laughs> infinite balls! Um, there are some, though. There are a few arcade ones and I think a few console ones that actually use um, analog input. I kind of don't like this one because it's got robots, you know, and it's just not as, it's, it's honestly not as fun. American Dreams. Fighting League. I mean, whoever came up with Aussie Battlers actually did their research. That's, that's fairly solid. Okay. Super Bases Ball. Cyber Egg. <laughs> Was that robot like fucking cheerleaders or some shit? Alright, am I going first? I can't remember. Murray. Alright, that's disturbingly accurate Australian as well. Alright, I was too close that time. Throw a proper ball at me, you fucking... Ah, uh, now look. Ha! Ah, I didn't swing until too late. Sucked in. Alright, that was on me. You know, good, good, good throw. Uh, I keep I keep fucking... I, I drift with the fucking character. It's a habit, like... Hey! Ah, shit ass. Where's that going? That sucked. Alright. Huh. 
Alright, I thought that was going to be out, but it's not. Alright, so this is like weird baseball with like different rules and shit. Alright, that's a foul. Okay. Ah, piss. Get in there, get in there! You fat, slow cunt! I'm going to feed you to the wombat god. Alright. Okay, so power up. Okay, I don't want to power up just yet. Suck shit. See, now I'm gonna like throw like a slow ball to like fuck him up. Ah, cunt. Ah. ah, come on. Don't be a baby. Just. Ah, fucking belt it out of. Ah, come on. Eat shit, you stupid robot. That not that a fucking strike? Fuck you! Oh, that's going like the moon or some shit. God damn it! Don't all fucking run like that! I pushed the wrong direction. That was on me. Now look at this shit. How do they know when to hit it? Alright, can I catch it from this? Is that... Uh, get under it, you fucking cunts. I forget that I gotta, like, chase him and hit him. With... Stop picking fucking cheats. I gotta deal with this fucking... team of fucking sex robots. Alright, where are the... Ass! Ball. Fuck you. Alright, see, that was a ball. That's fine. Alright. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I don't ask for much. Like, regular baseball stars is a little gentler with, like, the, you know, like, I don't have to, like, fucking, I don't know, tickle it or fucking tell it it's good to get it to... Ah, uh, sucked in. I mean, this one has a lot of cleavage. I'll give it that, you know. That's a nice touch, but... Otherwise, it's baseball stars, too. <laughs> Super dodgeball. Where the fuck are my pills? I'm taking my pills. Alright. No hold ball explosion. <laughs> yep. Neo Geo, baby. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> See, this is what they needed for the fucking horse racing, you know? Like... <laughs> okay. Also press A to catch. Alright, so you gotta... Okay. C to jump. Alright. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so there's a faint. Excellent. Alright, yeah, let's go beginner. Team Beef!
Excellent. <laughs> Alright, got the ball. Faint. Ah, oh, faint. How do you like that, huh? Ah, oh, suck shit. Ah, oh, I pushed the wrong button. Ah, oh, suck it. Okay, he has some kind of parry or some shit. I want my guys not meant to like fucking. Look at that guy not be smart. Oh, okay, so he's got like a reversal of some description. Okay, I thought he was like I could hit him during that, but I can't hit him after that. Ah, uh, yeah. How do you like me now? Ah, uh, fuck it out, bitch. How do I, so, okay, powering up is like what, AB? Ah, oh, goodbye, rugby fucking guy. Beat it, dweeb, beat it! Ah, oh, you motherfucker! Hey, you're not allowed to be out there! What the fuck? Alright, what's like fucking super duper move or some shit? Shouldn't I have that? <laughs> uh. Suck dicks. I mean, I do have to figure out whatever the fuck giant... Cause I, did it not tell me? Like, I got cheats. What's Pow do? I don't know. That's fun, though. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I win, and I abuse my own teammates. That's... <laughs> that's the way. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. Super attempt at genuine soccer. Yeah, Swirly Glasses nerd was not making a comeback. I was gonna fuck that kid. Uh, really. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Although I wasn't expecting, like, out characters to be able to fucking, you know, get me. That, that was a surprise. I mean, look, who cares? A, long kicks and shooting. Okay, B, pass. Alright. Exhibition mode. See, these guys all look too normal, you know? Alright, that's a bit insane. But, like, no one, you know, no one's dressed as, like, a fucking, you know, early 90s anime boss character, and I kind of need that, you know, because otherwise it's going to be boring. Alright, I think I'm learning. Stop it. You should be able to close line the fucking goal at least, you know? Like. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit confused with this. Oh, I got it, did I? There we go. Ace! Does that mean I should, like, just keep it or what? Like. Ah, uh, yeah, you go. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, whatever. It's just soccer. Um, honestly, I probably enjoyed that a little bit more than Windjammers. Ah, so many super sidekicks. I mean, it's three, but that's more super sidekicks than I expected to deal with today. Where are my pills? Where is that lady with my pills? Where is our waiter? It does need hockey style fighting. Like, they just need to, like, they, I, I would love to see that hit that sport professionally. Just considering how deeply integrated acting like a baby and pretending to be injured is, like, I would love to see that just gone. Just one day, it's just fucking, it's just out the fucking window, and you need to just get the fuck up. Wow, look at this. There's a lot of countries to choose from and shit. Um, I'm gonna beat up New Zealand. Always fun to make fun of the New Zealish.
All right, so we got like a different perspective. Oh, some sprite scaling is always fun to see. Are you meant to, like, is like tackle in this usually a shoulder tackle? You know, that just feels a bit wrong. Ah, flog the fucking crap out of it. Hey. I'm not sure what's happening here. Hooray! Ah, oh, fuck off, you guys. Being real jerks. Stop it! Okay, that's how I do that. I do that Sub-Zero slide shit. That's just fucking boring as piss. It's soccer, I don't care. <sighs> Super Sidekicks 3. We put Hadoukens in this one. You know, like, it's gotta be some Mario Strikers shit or something. Like, there, ha like there has to be some kind of fucking razzle-dazzle for me to give a shit. And even then, it's still just... It's not a sport I fucking gel with. And I don't want to spend all day looking at this shit. Oh, I don't even give a shit about the cheats. The next glory. Italy versus Evil Italy. I mean, I, I appreciate and enjoy the sprite scaling. That's always fun. Stop fucking... Look, you knobs. How do I change my guy? Alright. Ah, there we go. Ah, well, now look at that. I don't know. More or less fucking identical to the last one. The super spy. This is fun. I mean, it's one of those ones that I feel should have been a console game from the start and should have had, like... Maybe a bit more sort of thought put into it from that direction. <laughs> New Zoolanders. Ah, it already is. Ah, I've already got that set up. Now, ah, what fun cheat's gonna have? Infinite knife! Always have machine gun and knuckle. Always have pistol. Always have knuckle. You know. Like, I feel like if you if you sort of made the gameplay of this be the like kind of like the fantasy star dungeons and then added like kind of a um you know, a more top down Legend of Zelda, you know. It's like look, you know, that's pretty sweet. I and mean, you 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 kinda duck, you know, there's there's other shit. And then, you know, you can change weapon. And, like, if you, like, normally you don't just have the gun all the time. It's kind of like an emergency thing. But, like, I'm just cheating because I want fun. You know, you can, you can go in. You know, get to talk to a guy. Okay, so in the background on that, like, poster there where it says Neo Geo, that's, like, Neo Geo's original fucking mascot who was just, like, this weird, scary mime. And they got rid of him. Which is a good idea, because nobody, you know, a, ma a weird scary mime is not a good mascot. Unless you're like a haunted house or something, you know. So it's kind of this, you know, you just sort of walk forward and back. I mean, normally, you know, you're kind of at fisticuffs and you got to like do, you know, you got to like dodge stuff and kind of, you know. Like if you added like a block, because they're, they're, they're sort of, you know, the actual combat is a little bit narrow... Because, you know, it's an arcade game, it's meant to be more like chipping your fucking, you know, coins away, etc. But I mean, you know, you got the knife, you stab your way out of problems. You know, there's little bits of, um, you know, sometimes if you go into a door, it's like just a bunch of guys. And sometimes, um, you know, there'll be advice, like it'll, tell, it'll show you on a map where there's like a room. Yeah, so here's, this was a bad room to go into, because normally it'd be a hassle, because I wouldn't have a gun. Oh, I'm out of ammo, motherfucker. But yeah, so sometimes it's a surprise boss, and you don't want to deal with that shit. But then, like, sometimes it's, it's a guy giving you life advice about, like, where to find some cool stuff. 
But I just, you know, sprite scaling, like, it's fairly simple. Like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, the, the, the fact that there's, like, experience is nice, and it does sort of help, but it doesn't, it doesn't zhuzh anything up further than what this is. Which is, you know, kind of a bummer. Hey, here we go. Watch this be one that doesn't fucking work for some weird reason. So, after Capcom vs. SNK and Capcom vs. SNK 2, SNK had to fulfill their side of the bargain and make a SNK vs. Capcom. And this is not an awful game. Uh, but. Um, it ain't one of the best. Enable Bouncy My. Gotta have that. Japan number one, baby. Um, but, you know, like with the, you know, SNK, the Capcom versus SNKs, it's a lot of fun to play just to see, like, the SNK takes on some Capcom characters. And, like, it does... The gameplay itself isn't bad, but, I mean, one of the areas where the game really falls down is just terrible fucking sound design. Like, the big hits are just hollow. A lot of the regular hits just sound like a fucking... someone biting a cracker. And it's kind of a shame, because in a lot of other ways, there's a fair bit of effort went into this. Like, there are pre-fight, like, conversations, you know, where characters talk to each other about stuff. And, like, everyone keeps mistaking Dan for, like, you know, um, Robert Garcia and shit like that. Like, there's all this really good kind of lore and in-jokes and shit. Um, but just... You know, there is a few bits and pieces where the game just doesn't flow well. I'll put it down to easy. Uh, where are my controls? I'm going to put the exceeds on infinite though, because normally you only get like one, which is weird. Huh. That's weird. There's no... No control mapping. So we'll have to change this a little bit. Um, so make that, uh, ABC, I think it's AB is light kick, it'll be D, it'll be C, that should be A. So there, this also has some of the best boss characters, like Geese, Mars, people, like classic Athena, you know, Shin, Akuma. But, uh, yeah, it's always fun to play as, like, the, um, you know, SNK versions of Capcom characters, because you just don't get to see them that much, you know? This also has some of the weirdest fucking place names in any fucking... Yeah. <clears throat> it's just, it's just fun. But, yeah, and... and Like, I don't know how these sound effects got past fucking... <clears throat> I can't remember what his fucking exceed is now. It's like... God, what is it? It's like, I think it's like, because he, he has like the reverse of the raging demon. It's also... Yeah, he's got like the shitty version of the Hal Shikoku. Mm. This is one of those ones where getting fucking DPs on, it's just like, requiring me to be really broad. Yeah, that's, that can't be it. Great. I know he's got like a weird fucking... I should know better than to think anything of Dan's would fucking combo. It's like C C back B A. It's like the inversion of A A B C. Ah, I have to look it up. 
Like, generally, I don't play as any of the SNK characters. I mean, it's nice to see Earthquake, because you generally don't see him. Um, Miles' people are kind of fun. Like, when you get down to Mr. Karate and Shinokuma, like, they're legitimately bullshit. It's very funny. Station obsolete. Like, there's a stage in this game called Nude Place, which has been stuck in my head for fucking decades. Yoga rules. You just want to hear that. Grabs from space. Yeah, that's like that fucking super move I just did there is just his DP with kick. What's his fucking C? What is it? Oh, look at that. That hits, like, almost full screen, too. It's just ridiculous. Like, I, th I think I'm mixing up a little bit with, like, fucking Shinokuma from Capcom vs. SNK. That's a problem. That's just that's that's not even special moves. That's just easy. Ah! <laughs> Nude place. For some reason, Bao lives in Hugo's hair too. I don't know why. <clears throat> Tengu man. Yeah, I love like. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to go get the fucking... My, my tablet so I can fucking look up some fucking shit. Like, imagine being at school and someone like... You know, picks a fight with you and you got to meet him at the nude place. <laughs> 3.30 at the nude place. Yeah, it sticks in my head that, you know, Gabriel, I'm becoming quite racist. Congratulations. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. Alright. What do we got? What do we got for old Mr. Fucking Karate? Um. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Why don't I just split it into SNK moves and Capcom? You know, that's just fucking... That's needlessly complicated. Uh, no, wait, fuck, I'm an SNK character, aren't I? Shit, yeah. I am fucking serious, Mr. Karate. Alright. Alright, let's roll. Let's roll, Hujo. Fair play. 
Oh, you motherfucker, look. I, got, I can't get fucking... There we go. Yeah, so that's not even a special. I can just do that just generally. It's just wild. Ah, here we go. Got enough karate there. It's bullshit and it's broken. It's bullshit and it's broken. That fucking ducking hard punch of Hugo's has ne there's never been it's never been good in any game. <coughs> it's just it's just so fucking universally worthless. Maximum karate. <coughs> like imagine your little brother when you're just able to do that, you know? <laughs> it's just <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> I'm allowed to select him, he's in the game. Uh. Green of forest. But I mean, you can hear sort of, you know... You should be able to hear, like... The, there's a clacky sound of the punches. You know, the, the sort of... The boom of the, the, the supers is just very weak. Like, the whole... You know, it's... Ah, oh, goddammit, I got rid of my fucking boss cheats. Um, you know, it's just a few, uh, some of the more niche changes to the, um, fight system aren't great, but like, you know, I mean, they're not the end of the world, but just when you combine all these things together, you know, particularly at the time, it's just like the end at the end of the day, the product just wasn't all that fucking great. Um, all right, what do we got? Let's be Shinokuma. Let's just, let's have fun. You know, at someone else's expense. Uh, where's fucking Shinokuma? Ah, there we are. Yeah, so like, he's got like... Yeah, like two air fireballs, which leads to some bullshit, if you can be bothered. And just a lot of, like, raw dog supers he's able to do as well. Akuma Shin. Of course it's under Akuma Shin. That's very funny to me. Um, alright. Masatsu Goat Hado. Can't argue with that. Yeah, I mean, he's basically, you know, the same guy, but still. Like, you know, that's just a regular move. You know, he, do he doesn't have supers, but he's got supers, they just don't take meter. Um, that's how fast that goes, <laughs> you know, which is just fucking wild. And then I got, I got to get like my health down to red so I can get his exceed out. This is that. You just, you just go bump and just drop on him from like space. It's almost instant. That's another one that'll make your little brother very, very upset with you. You see what I mean? It's just like thud, thud, thud. You know? It's just really disappointing. Masuts! Yeah, like you can... You, you can just... you can, The combos you can get in this are ridiculous with him. And you're just pulling shit like this out constantly. It's just, Sausage. Bunch of goddamn broken nonsense. But it is fun that they like, you know, you're not meant to be able to play as those characters, obviously. It's not they're not what you'd call the tournament legals.
Is this a mahjong? I'm suspicious. Alright, yeah. Must be a mahjong. I think I got rid of it. Uh, testicles world soccer. More soccer. Uh, because, Nick, Tekken is not a fucking Neo Geo game. Oh, that's weird. I wanted to get rid of that. This is called Neo Geo Re Retrospective, not Namco Retrospective. Two different companies. <clears throat> Nude place. Oh, I forgot to fucking... There we go. Go into the regions, make it USA console again. Da, da. See what the cheats have to say. This is another little fun, just a little top-down racer. There are a few of these on the Neo Geo. No? Look at that little guy. Look at him. Hey, a little nugget. A little nugget car. World Rally. Okay. Accelerate, brake. Can't argue with any of that. Okay. I'm gonna be the sand buggy. That's one of the cool things about this game, is there's a few different, like, kinds of fucking thing you can be. Out of the way, you fuck asses. Move. You fucking minge. You know, a little bit of sprite scaling. I mean, the, the, I feel like it might be the fact that I'm using the buggy, but the turning's a bit, you know, kind of slow. Like, it might be sort of different per sort of uh, vehicle. I mean, it's one of those ones, though, where is it worth the speed loss when you turn? Or, you know, should you just fucking hold the accelerator and gun it? I think, like, it is... Like, I'm doing slightly better at this one than I, I have been at other ones. But, like, the turning is a lot slower. So it's like, ooh, bum sex. Ha. Huh. I can pass that count. Ah, oh, I didn't even hit the wall that time. Ah, oh, fuck me, I wasn't looking at the weird squirrely fucking thing that I was driving through. Eee! Hey, you know. Zoom. It kind of reminds me of Micro Machines a little bit. Might have been some inspiration from that, actually. But, yeah, you know. It, at least my memory doesn't seem to change that much, you know, from there. Oh, yeah, no, my housemate has a... It's parked outside, I think. It's a, uh, a Midget 2. Like the Datsun or Daihatsu or something Midget 2. It's tiny. Like, it is weirdly small. This one's kind of fun, because it's a little, like, you know, scrolling kind of platformery game, but, like, they gave Roddy and Kathy, like, a bunch of, um, like, command specials from, like, you know, fighting games. So, like, the Power Wave and shit like that. Just characters have that. Just kind of cute. Um, for time, lives, health, power, gun ammo, always have gun, and, you know. The only cheat, like, you know, you don't really need much in the way of cheats for a game that's functionally a coin-op game when you have infinite credits, you know? Yeah. Just punch a cunt. Just yoink a cunt. Just gotta throw more goons. Yeah, it has a plane shift, which honestly makes a lot more sense in a platform game. <laughs> I 
Yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, I got the Kooken. I can't remember if he's got another one or not. I'm sure he does, but. Pew! And then I can wake this guy. Ah, oh, don't. No, you fucking. Hey, stuff. Oh, okay, it's over there. I knew I had the DP. In. And see, you know... One of the things that this game shushes itself up over a regular kind of arcade fare is just shit like this. This kind of reminds me of, um, the original Wonder Boy, before it became a fantasy game. Now I have power. Um, you know, which is always a bit of a weird fucking event for me, you know? Because I remember Wonder Boy when he was, like, a weird naked fat kid holding his fucking undies up, you know? And then one day he was just like, ah, oh, it's a fantasy game now. I was like, okay, you know? Like, I'm not opposed to it, but, you know. And you could get a skateboard in that. I mean, the games are not what I'd call horrendously fun, but still. Yeah, so now, now my fucking... Oh, fuck. Ah. If I could do the Shoryu... Ah, uh, no, he got my shit. Uh, he couldn't handle it. Just couldn't handle it. Oh, that's right, yeah, if you mash, you get, like, fucking Zanretsuka. You know, lots of fun little bits of animation. Lots of little touches, you know, like, knocking this over and flattening that guy. That's always good. Picking up and throwing cunts. I want to get to the boss. Ow. Come back. Mm. Oh, God damn it, it made me drop my... Oh, piss. Ah. Give me that coins. I think there's like a shop. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Alright, fucking fuck you. That should have hit. Oh, well, now I'm up here. I don't like those. And yeah, now I have to fight a pirate. You know, usual stuff. Ah, you gotta be a bitch about my fucking fireballs, don't you? Am I even hurting when I do that? Quibbity fwibbity. Can't jump on your fucking head. Oh, he's got power waves. This needs better. Oh, this needs better hit connection. I think I do more damage just jumping on the cunt. Suck it. Ah, oh, I've learned head bonks now. Ow. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, DP'd him. Congratulations! 
And that is Top Hunter. I feel like this won't be as fun as Neo Turf Masters, you know? This feels a bit more serious, and I feel like the more serious a golf game gets, the less I'm going to enjoy it. Super Adventure Island. Da -da. <laughs> Infinite strokes. Oh, fucking goddamn. Does this always be, like, it doesn't matter how many of them you kill, there'll always be, like, just kind of one fruit fly around, you know? Yeah. Alright. Look at that. Doesn't he look like he's having fun? Golf. These guys all look like they're being forced to play golf as a punishment from their mum. Yeah, this is not going to be as good as fucking, you know, Turf Masters. It just ain't. I mean, you know. Weirdly, this kind of makes it look like a DOS game, you know. I don't know what a Nassau game is. Okay. Captain Mustache. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. I mean, is this... Okay, alright. So... I think fucking... I just gotta fucking belt it up there. Alright. Oh, look at that! Fucking drilled it! Cunt! Ah, oh, I got out of the fairway. Ah, oh, look at that. Some of my Neo Turf Masters is playing off. Oh, that's nice. I can kind of, like, actually check the course. Um, Alright. Green. I don't need that. Yeah, let's just get back to fucking... I think it was about that direction somewhere, give or take. Ah, uh, bum sex. Where's that going? Ah, oh, that's like the ugly ground that they don't like. Rough. Okay, so how far away is my actual... Because in the other one it tells me how far away the fucking thing is, you know? Um, yeah, uh, what's the wind doing? Fucking, I don't know. Ah, dead. Fucking right. Shit. No! How do I not? Because, like, it has... Okay, so, like, alright. Um, alright, so I don't want it to be that hard. i got to get it, like, I don't know, here-ish. Damn it! Yeah, this doesn't have the girl go, On the green! Which kind of makes it suck. Okay. So, fucking aim a bit to the left. Uh, That's too hard. I wasn't expecting it to go that fast. It just went to zoom. And that was like... That's too soft. No! Just right. Shit. Double buggery. My recommendation is play Neo Turf Masters, because that's not very fun. Neo Turf Masters is better than that. Alright! Deranged Magical Girl Shooter! Ah! That's too much. Yeah, didn't Zombie Ninja Pro Amp? Because, like, isn't that... That's based on, like, an old Amiga game, isn't it? Ah, fuck you. Alright. High-energy anime dingbat territory. This is always... This is usually good. Energy, charge, bombs, max pow. Infinite continues. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. I don't remember Twinkle Star Sprites much. 
Okie dokie. Ah, fuck, I keep forgetting to have my fucking... There are my pills. There is a legend of the world of witches has been passed out. This is the legend tells of the person who holds a sacred star or a trickle star, but perhaps that is merely a flickering image of the glitters in the heart of everyone who dreams. Ah, oh, look at him go. Whatever those are. She seems upset. Ah, fuck you. Second one didn't go down. Um, okay. Alright. This is like a versus game? What the fuck? The forfeit? Well, well, run. Uh, hmm. You even brought Drapey. What's the deal? Not the time of small talk. Our country's been at war. Uh. <laughs> High energy. Animating bats. Alright, so this is interesting. You know, like, it's it's a shooter, but like, with a sort of, uh, you know, a kind of fuck you component, which is novel. And the ethnic war continues. Was it on the nurse? <laughs> meow meow, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, what is that strange thing? Okay. And oh, these ones don't look shy. <laughs> Can I destroy that? Isn't that the fucking... Yeah, go over there and harass him. He likes it. Ah! Alright, what's happening? Yeah, suck shit, you little ninja bunghole. <laughs> okay, I'm allowed to shit my own angry feral cat at it as a boss attack. Yeah, well, that's what you get for being jerks. Alright, like, fucking act over there like I started this fight. Fucking horrid little goblins. This is entertaining, like when you'd go into like a video store and rent an anime and just had no idea what you were getting. Miss me, bitch. What hit me? What's going on?
Yeah, get back. Fucking how do you like that? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Stop throwing like fucking puffs at me, I don't understand. What if we made bullet hell dweebs fight each other? Get him, get him. Ouch, ouch. Stop that. That's rude. Aren't you meant to love me or something? If you loved me, you wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, get him, get him. Alright, what's happening? Ah! How do I get close to a fucking KO? Fucking. Why am I slow and why is my laser shit? There you go. I beat him anyway. I mean, that is kind of fun. Like, the idea of you basically playing a competitive fucking shooter where you're fucking launching... Oh, that guy's serious about his soccer. Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend to get hurt so hard. I'm gonna think about my dead mom and cry. <laughs> yeah, La Blue Girl. No, like, that shit would happen. You know, like, Ninja Scroll, when it, was really, when it first came out in Australia, was rated M. You know, like, M. You could just... Ah, oh, fuck, I fucking closed it. I didn't want that. You know, like, you could just, like, you know, you could just go in and get it. <laughs> Same as, like, fucking, oh, what was the other one? It was Ninja Scroll, that was an M-rated game. It's, it's R-rated now. I look, you know what, fair enough on that one. Um, what was the other one? Crying Freeman, that's right. Crying Freeman was, like, fucking rated M. It's like, I don't think you watched this. Fucking. Thank you, fuck. <laughs> fucking ninja scroll. Just be like, ah, oh, yes. Some cunts get cut up. So what? You know, there isn't like a long drawn out sequence of a giant guy raping a woman. There's not like a lot of boob in that. I mean, I do love Ninja Scroll though. That'll always be like the fucking just the A number. That's that's the pinnacle of anime to me because it's like really violent. There's loads of titty, but also it's a really good story and a really good movie. You know, like it's just if if you want to understand what this fucking shit was about, you know. And you hate more, Italy or France. Alright. Well, at least it's had a voice. Oh, uh, you fucking look, you know. Well, why let me punch him if you're just gonna yell at me? I love that, like, a big deal for that game was, like, the yellow card animation. Soccer games are boring. Viewpoint's fun. It's a shmup, but with, like, a viewpoint. Isometric, I think. If memory serves. Mm. <sighs> Homing bombs. Right. No infinite continues. Sammy. And yeah, put it down to easy because this will be easy be tricky. I think this saw a few regular console releases. Uh, you know, like I think something like the, like it, it was either on the Mega Drive or something very similar was on the Mega Drive. Uh, but obviously, nothing was going to touch. You know how the game looks itself. I will say, some of the fucking enemy designs were a little bit like, nah. Ah, penis butt! I mean, I don't think my little guys should have to necessarily fucking, you know, kill themselves. You know. Just mash the button, Gabriel. Don't overthink this. Just kill the little discs and shit. Scrape my little guys. Ah, uh, go fire. 
That's, that's pretty useful. Ah! Turn, turn, damn you! So that's kind of novel. Eek! Okay, it doesn't like... Okay, I think I got another firebomb out of that. <laughs> it touched me. Oh, I can close it. This music's slightly funkier than I feel like the mood f fits the mood, really, you know? Yeah, fuck off out of here. I don't want a whole producing enemies, you know? <laughs> you know, you see what I mean? It's just a little funky. Eh. Honestly, I mean, the graphics, okay, they're good, and whatnot, but, like, it's missing some shit. This one's another in the long list of, like, fighting games that are perfectly functional, but just forgotten amidst the, you know, just mess of other ones, really. Apparently it's based on some kind of anime, or manga, or something. Um, I don't know. I just remember playing it and just being like, no, oh, look at this. I mean, it's got some, like, not bad characters in it. Plat Twins, okay. I don't really want to play as the Plat Twins. I like having the option to, like, play, you know... As, like, a boss, but I don't want to be forced into it. Look at all these cunts, you know? There's, like, a Gundam, I think, and a fucking... A Giver, and, you know... Some titty idiots, can't argue with that. Captain Command... Not Captain Commander, what's his name? It looks more like Sonic Blast Man. All of these feel like fucking... You know, copyrighted characters that you, you shouldn't be using, but, like, they kind of just snuck them in. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have to fucking change my controls, because there's no fucking control... thing. Alright, so that's... D... B... C... A... Alright. Let's see. Uh, it looks like Grandpa Karate. I just, I'll start out with, like, fucking, you know, Ryu Default. And excellent. That's exactly what we want. We want Lady fucking... Goddamn titty idiot. Alright, oh my god, okay. My Hadouken's with kick. That's what. That's how you know it's unique. I mean, I'm enjoying the shit out of the sprite scaling for this one. I forgot how good it was. Stop that. Little miss. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, there's a strike. Yeah, backfire elbow. Don't throw a fucking cloud at me, you little twit. She can make a little one! And the little one's sad when she gets beat. Ah, uh, burn. Backdrop. Hell yeah. Mm. 
Madam. That really should have beta. What? Incest twins? Oh yeah, that's right. You can like steal techniques. I forgot about that. More barely dressed anime tarts. For the culture. Yeah, but... What is it, like CD? Alright, that's like... Yeah, now I can shoot like a little version of me who like, I know, jumps around and causes trouble. Um, though not much by the fucking looks of it. Ah, uh, backdrop baby. I mean that, the little guy could be more helpful, you know? Ah, oh, get fucked. Get him, little version of me. Look at that, look at, he's not going away either, that's great. Okay, how do I fucking... Ah, come on. You minge, I wanted to get my super. Did have a big charge up, my dash. And then just fucking, you know, I got hit by whatever that little thing is. Get him, little guy. He's just on screen all the time. Like, he just doesn't go away. That's wild. That just seems that, that that would be really annoying. A fully nude which character? Gal Kaiser or Shia? Let's just say both. The little no, uh, that'll be the little orb. It's completely nude. Right, I'm gonna have to look this up, because I didn't know it was like like I figured it was kind of like a light, you know. Like not Serious, but you know, like, there'd be like all of us. I, I figured it was like a side boob anime, you know. I figured that was where we were going with this. I didn't realize they'd make a joke out of a full tilt, like, yeah, let's get some fucking minge in there anime. That seems a bit much. No, I don't want your little guy. I mean, like, you know, don't get me wrong, some of that stuff looks cool and all, but like, right now, I can pull out like a midget version of me. Always. Some anime artists can only do horny art. That is that is true. Get him. Get him, little boy. I think he just broke my fucking combo, which is very annoying. Sh Shenlong? Was that what he was called in, like, fucking... I forgot that he was called that. Is that his, his name in the anime, or is that something they did for the fighting game? Body up, body up. Hey, what the? Stop that, you fucking mutt. Help me, little version of me! Oh, well, that's fun. I wonder if anyone's got the nude fan art in here. The ultimate warriors are ready for battle. Auto zoom. Maybe tits? <laughs> that fucking monkey girl, that is <laughs> just aggressive horniness. Uh, you gotta love it. Alright, Waku Waku 7. Here's kind of like the PG version of that, because it's like all a bunch of characters that are sort of like clearly anime characters, but like not copyrighted ones. Ding, 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 ding. <sighs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fernandez. <laughs> I don't think it's legal to play as Fernandez. That's just ridiculous. 
But this is a fun one. Really beautifully animated, this one. You will get a wish if you find all of the balls. Bunny morons. Can't argue with him. Elf with sword. Classic. Robot made. Why not? That. My neighbor tug potato. <laughs> that thing. Every anime protagonist ever. Shut up, Rai. Um, yeah, you know, game gives you a little move list before. Uh, I will sort of just be Rai, though, because, like, otherwise, you know... Ah, fuck, I've got to change the goddamn controls. That's why I'm weird colored Rai now. But, I mean, this is some of the best pixel art on the fucking system. That's really fucking good. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. You know, you're not fucking telling me what to do. Alright, so it's not. It's, uh, uh, it's A, B. Of course it would be something fucking different. A, B. Uh, so we make that... That's uh, B, we need that to be C. Um, A, B, that should be fine. Yeah, right. There we go. Plasma, plasma. Hey, did the cat just throw that girl at me? And, like, everyone's got, like, this super, super move that... You sort of, and it's 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 unblockable, but it, it you can just interrupt it. And Dandy didn't because he's I don't know an idiot. And it's it's like just down down and like, it is that cat's throwing a woman at me. They also have like, what you might call remotely sensible fucking super moves as well, like just, you know, fairly standardized. Yeah, I can't remember who this guy's supposed to be. I think, like, he's a, some kind of Jojo. Yeah, there's also EX versions of all the attacks. Yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Sincerely, little girl. I don't wanna. He seems... Doki Doki. Um, no, I'm pretty sure this predates the Arcana Hearts. Although, there's probably some kind of- it might have been fucking made by the same cunts, who knows. And then, you know, I could also do, like, fucking Thunder Pump. Yeah, but see, normally, if someone does, like, the world's biggest unblockable nonsense attack, you fucking gallop over there and fucking deal with it, you know? I'm pretty sure you only get one shot at it per fucking game, too. Look, you fucking ring piece. Ah, fuck. See, that was on me. Wackadackadoo 7. I killed her pet. <laughs> Kidnap girls. Just crashing in here on my own stupid bicycle. <laughs> oh, 
a little brooding, perhaps. How dare you interrupt my brooding. But that is a fun one, you know. <sighs> Windjammers. Still sounds like a British homosexual slur. Whereas in Australia, you just get called a fart pusher. Ah. Totoro. The cat boss is such a weird thing. <laughs> like, it's just clear, it's just, it's so deeply body horror, and yet, it's like, yeah, you know, kids will fucking love this. Alright, yeah, I can't go expert. I'm not that fucking bright. I don't know how to do this. I haven't jammed wind. <laughs> if it's a frisbee game, does the fucking court actually matter? Like, you know. Alright. Oh, right, I'm, I'm the guy on the left. I'm an idiot. Huh, oh, that's interesting. What was I playing that was like this? Ow! You minge. How do I stop missing from happening? How do I throw faster? Ah, oh, you fucking moot! How do you do that? Good show, old bean! Alright, so I got lob. Oh, fuck off! Ah, oh, I fucking almost had you the wrong way there, too. Ah, oh, get wrecked! Ah, oh, ha ha, suck shit. You thought I was going to be fancy. And then I wasn't. Alright, I didn't know what button I was pushing really, so, you know. You got me. Hmm. Okay, so I was facing the wrong direction, I think. Ah! There's a lot to that. I can see why that's popular, but it would take a little more time for me to actually sort of familiarize myself with the precision of it. And I would like to get this fucking finished sometime while I'm still alive. Now we get into World Heroes territory. And, like, the early versions of these are not what I'd call riveting fun, but it does end on a high, which is World Heroes Perfect, which is quite fucking good. Fun fact, World Heroes Perfect, back before, like, fucking Three Fighter Four got released and the, you know, 2D fighting games so sort of got, like, re -zhuzhed. um... World Heroes Perfect was generally sort of starting to float up as being like one of the games that people would start playing. Um, just because it has a lot to it. It's in a lot of like, there's there's a lot of old silly buggers to it that you wouldn't probably have in like a modern game, but it's, it's a pretty good game. Whereas like, you know, er, the basic plot of World Heroes is like Doc Brown sends you in time to like fight cunts. I came at a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Where the strong people are. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm bored. You wanna just like fight some cunts while I watch with my time buddies? This has that really old Neo Geo fighter fucking shit too, like you know. Actually I might double check because I don't think the move list is exactly the same for like
There's also like the weird deathmatch. Um, no. Needless to say. Um, I will do normal just because, like, the deathmatch, you know, all the stages are kind of the same. I'll, I might have a l quick look at the deathmatches, but, like... Yeah, obviously, now you can finally live out, like, fucking, you know, Hulk Hogan versus, uh... Bruce Lee. But I mean, like, particularly for one of the earlier ones, real good hit detection, you know. The hard punch, weak punch situation for these is not great, because it's like the weird push it and hold it, which I just, you know, I do not like. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you get number one. Although, in a lot of ways, he kind of looks a lot like fucking um, John Lithgow to me. Like, younger John Lithgow in the head. Obviously, John Lithgow never had the, you know, the sheer mass of a Hulk Hogan. Like, this may look a little dull to you and your modern fucking eyes and your video games and shit. But, like, back in the day, this was pretty good because, like, there was proper hit connection and, you know, the game was fucking playable. Do a little, uh, quick little restarty, and then we'll have a look at the uh, death matches. And also, what has to be probably the weirdest fucking version interpretation of like, so you know, some ninjas, Bruce Lee, Joan of Arc, Genghis Khan, you know, Hulk Hogan, all the great fighters of history, and then Rasputin. And he's a magician, so he gets some shit that's just confusing. Like, big glowing feet! And yeah, if you, if you fucking bump the back, you get like... Fucking, you know... Ah, oh, fucking, why do you keep getting me with that? That is the slowest... Yeah. You touch the wall, you get a hurty. And they have a few different kinds, like there are ones where the floor's slippery. Which is annoying. And... But yeah, you can... Like, and it does damage too, like, you know. Ah, fuck, Brocken's annoying. One thing I do love about this series is they they redo the death groan for every hit post death. And that's all fine until you get like super moves in World Heroes Perfect where they go uh 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 and it just keeps going. Like they'll go for fucking ages. Ah, oh, don't jump away, you fucking minge. Ra ra Rasputin. Yeah, and you can just touch it. Like, you can really, I mean... FONDLE FINGERS! <laughs> Weird game. And then we move on to World Heroes 2, which I've not played a huge amount of, usually because, you know, uh, particularly with a lot of fighting games, you'll get, like, these middle games, and they'll have, like, some things that are slightly better than the first iteration, but not nearly as good as the later ones, and there'll be less characters and stuff like that, so it's just like, well, you know, you sort of wind up just not really ever playing them much. And uh, that is definitely the case with World Heroes. What time is it in Kangaroo Land? It is about quarter to three. Oh, fuck you.
Yo, is a. Let's see what shit we got here. In the time, energy. Look at these goons. <laughs> yeah. They added like a foot. God, look at that. that. I mean, it's a step up in a lot of ways from World Heroes, but like. Mud man. I don't even know. What is that? Like Finland or some shit? <laughs> I can see Kid's face there. Like, yeah. Hey, he's looking at profession pirate. Yeah, that's right. J Max, profession quarterback. Evil quarterback. Yeah, they had to take away muscle powers mustache because someone was like, hey, that's like too much like Hulk. Ryoko is based on a real person. Um, it was like some Olympian. Um, we'll do, we'll do some normal first. I love these, like, dancing guys in the background. So they gave Muscle Power the giant swing in this, which isn't all that amazing. They gave him a, a cool fucking, you know, flying dropkick move, though. I'm trying to get the fucking muscle bomber. <laughs> the old elbow. Ah. Didn't know that was an attack. Oh, fuck you. He put me on my bottom. Pretty much, yeah. Just call me strong. His ending in World Heroes Perfect is fucking hilarious. Because he realizes the, the you know... How evil football is not a good pursuit, but then like it's too late because his child's become an evil footballer, and there's like just a little midget version of him with like the evil eyes. A fucking uh, just a just a, a country piracy. Uh, fair enough. Mudman. I mean, some of those Papua New Guinean masks are scary as shit. Like, if you're just walking around, you know, and then you just one of these comes out. You like look them up. They're fucking fascinating. Okay, this one's got the fucking... Yeah, so we got, uh, what is it? Mud... Ah, uh, goddammit, I was looking away. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, the... <laughs> I don't understand what's happening, though. The idea of a tug-of-war thing is interesting. I mean, you know, didn't exactly fucking take the world by fire, which is why we don't see it anymore, but hey, it's something. A little mud man should fucking hit. I don't get that. I do miss the ref in the back. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Where's my fucking... That is a fucking shit-ass anti -air. Go, little guy. Oh, I am sick of this already. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I, know, I... That is really annoying. I don't want to... Like, the fucking... The death matches in one, they were okay. Those death matches, no. I don't want to get fucking, like, a wall carry juggle off of, like, fucking, you know, backing up. Fuck that noise. Fuck it forever. 
if you get bored, look up like the Japanese ads for I think World Heroes 2. Because they are fucking hilarious. It's like, it's this legit, like, all this crazy shit with an actual person in a Mudman costume. Stop it. Come here. It's hard to use the command throw character when you don't have dashes. Ah, well. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Sprite scaling just for his victory animation. And it's funny, too, because I read a tweet from, like, one of the... You know, it was a translation of, like, an interview with um, one of the people who was on the dev team for this shit. And the rule was, like, if you came up with a character, like, you had to... You know, animating his bullshit was up to you. And, like, after playing enough of these, that means that someone had to... Like, one person really loved Mudman. Because Mudman has an insane amount of fucking animations. And so, World Heroes 2 Jet is what you call your sort of standard, like, sp special, you know, upgrade. Like, whereas World Heroes 2 was definitely, it's like a whole new game with a, f a fair bit of, like, change. World Heroes 2 Jet is like World Heroes 2, but with just, like, some, you know, extra bits and bobs and some rebalancing and shit like that. Hot sucky! It does a bit, yeah. John Madden, John Madden. Yeah, oh, stuck in my head. Like, apparently he is in some way based on Madden as well, which I don't see or understand, but... So this is, might be some energy, you know, hit stop. Uh, yeah. Infinite continues, always worthwhile having on, but, you know. All right. See how muscle power is going on this one. Just two dudes hanging out, making eye contact, you know, not going to get strange or anything. Now it's a knife fight because we're not gay. That's the two options, you know. Either like wild gay sex or knife fight. Beginner, please. Alright, interesting that it's still the ABC. I didn't realize that that had fucking stuck around for so long between like, um... In World Heroes, I really thought it was World Heroes 2 that it went to the 4 button. Yeah, like imagine wasting a button on Taunt for this long. Like, that's just, oh yeah, D, that's just not used. Why? Fucking madness. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah, that's right. This adds Ryofu and Jack. I hate Jack. Hmm. I'll just do the tournament. I mean, all of this is way better than World Heroes Perfect. Like, I love, I, I, I love this presentation. This is really good. Fucking Genghis Khan's getting led to the ring by his girls. Oh no, it's fucking all right. All right, that's the better drop kick. I like that. Close up A and C. All right. Come here. There we go. Why is Gene Shallot commentating on our match? Ah, oh, fucking clobbered. Look at him there in the background. Why? Um, does Jack ever come back? Like, he's, he, he's in World Heroes Perfect. They gave Hogan the leg drop in this one as well. Ah, oh, this one has the fucking runs. Mm, shut up. That's cool. A little interesting interaction there when you, uh, two hits hit each other. Ah, oh, fuck you. That, that is punishable as fuck. I shouldn't, I shouldn't keep doing that. It is not quite as punishable in, um... Uh, World Heroes Perfect. Ah, penis. So this feels like, rather than going through time, we're bringing time to us. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, that's interesting.
Missed me. Ow. Ah, oh, fucking piss. I wanted to do the fucking... There we go. How did that fucking hit? Ah, eh, whatever. We'll go. We'll we'll go to the one that's actually kind of like well put together and fun. World heroes. Perfect. This one's actually like reasonably solid. I actually play this fairly regularly. It can be fucking bullshit hard. Uh, you know, like the boss is a is a liquid metal Goku thing called Neo Dio, and can eat shit. What? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, that's weird. Ah. For some reason, that's B, which it shouldn't be. Here we go. All right. Well, we're gonna have to fix that. Uh, okay, that should A B C. That should be D. Uh, that should be. Uh, C. This is. Because usually, depending on the arrangement of the fucking buttons, a lot of, like, particularly the King of Fighters games and a bunch of the other fighters, A and B would be light punch and light kick, whereas C and D would be hard punch, hard kick, respectively. Sometimes they went the other way, where A and B were light punch, hard punch, and then C and D were light kick, hard kick. I, you know, don't know why. Alright, so we've got A, B, C, D. Alright, that. That, should, that should be fine. Should be somewhere fucking sensible now. Secret character flag. That's always good. You know, being able to use the secret characters. And always able to use the ultimate attack. That's just good old-fashioned country fun. Um, no, no, I did my... I, I, I took time off to do my fucking sleep fix. Ah, I just haven't gone back to it. I mean, I could get my masters and you know do teaching, but ah, you know I gotta commit to something then. And that has never been my strong suit. I mean, at the moment, I'm enjoying writing and getting you know, in the moments when I can actually get some of that done. World heroes, perfect. Not as much razzle dazzle in terms of you know. Presentation, but you know, a good solid. There's Dio, there's Goku's in this as well. Number one. Number one. They weren't like absolutely batshit with Rasputin in this. His super move is to like fucking molest you. Oh, that's the thing too. I need to set the fucking. Um, Alright. So we'll make. L. Uh, make that into so A and B is like hard punch, and then C and D is like hard kick. So it's a little bit like a six button game without six buttons. Yeah. So it's a little bit quicker, you know. Yeah, we're back to time periods, which, and yeah, Rasputin's, Rasputin's super move, which you could look up, I recommend looking it up, because I don't know if I'll bother pulling it off here, but yeah, he dashes forward, grabs you, pulls you down into like a bed of flowers, and then a bunch of love hearts come out the top, and then, and then, you know, you've been molested. Friendly Rasputin. 
Yeah, like Goku, Goku. Basic. Well, so Goku is based on um, is based on the Monkey King. Like that's why he has a he has a staff, and you know, he's a monkey, and he flies around on a cloud. Like all of that is like, you know, the story of Monkey by Wu Chang En, which had the fantastic adaptation to the you know live action series, which I I recommend watching at least season one of. Season 2 you can absolutely skip. Don't bother watching Season 2. Like, I actively wouldn't bother watching it. But Season 1 of Monkey is very, very good. Um, and that's why you'll see kind of like the Son Goku idea uh, just around, you know. Um, that's where Dragon Ball got it from. It, you know, derives it from that. Uh, the writing's all on keepitclassy.com. There should be a link to it on the YouTube. If there isn't, it'll be on my Twitter account, which is, there's a thing on the YouTube for it. So you can find it there. There's quite a bit of it at this stage. So the hero meter in this is kind of like your EX meter, but it just makes a move into it, which just isn't very good. And because you, you, you don't get to choose when it comes out, but you do get like a super version of your super move, which is kind of cool. Because that one just goes fucking ages. Um, yeah, I should have, I've got an archive of like, you know, three and a bit seasons of uh, Simpsons writing there, a few other things. The weird, like, fucking, what's his name, like, Muscle Power's like, standing hard kick is such a good move in this. It's just, like, it can get pipped by sweeps fairly easy, but it's like, it's just, it's be it's got a really long hurt box. Like, it's, it's active frames are like, fucking, just, you know. Body massage. Your yeah, super move should be like just ripping his dick off and throwing it at you, and then it just regrows. But yeah, this has like a fairly complex movement system. Like you can dash, you can cancel the dash. The back dashes are like invincible in this, which is really interesting. Like it's 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 you know it is the perfection of world heroes. For what that's worth. I mean look, is it you know is it third strike? No, but is it good? Yes. I mean there's some there is some like sort of classic SNK jank in it though. You win. I'm Zed Blade or Operation Ragnarok. A shooter. That's fun. Oh, yeah, like big chunks of it probably fucking apart. I don't think he was an actual fucking wizard, you know. I mean, he was probably just, you know, again, he's, uh, I'd, I'd buy that he was a fucking hard nut who could probably fucking put away an awful lot of fucking booze and shit. But I mean, you gotta think, like, you know, you gotta imagine peasants, you know, how easy it would be to just, like, blow a peasant's fucking mind, you know. Hyper bomb, max rear shot. <laughs> this is insanely. This bit's insanely realistic for like what I feel like this game is, you know. Uh, wave. Wave seems good. Uh, homing. Okay. More wave. I like waves because I feel like that'll help take care of shit. I like being able to, like, select stuff. That's nice, you know. I mean, so far, so good. Alright, that's one of the bombs. Why do these show up as triangles? It's like Flight of the Navigator. Okay, I, I can. For anyone wondering, I can touch the fucking ground and die. Oh, fuck. I wasn't... I, I can touch the ground and die. Alright, see, now this is what I was after. Yeah, alright.
See, I mean, mostly with games like this, you know, if you if if you're not like a fucking you know oddball, you know, you want them to just be a little razzle dazzle, you know. Like, I the only way these games are gonna be fun for someone like me is like if there's, you know, lots of fucking particles and shit going everywhere, decent effects, you know, fun weapon upgrades. Like weapon upgrades are just so important to these games, you know. Like I'm not I'm not gonna be able to play it if it's not like yeah, this now this is powerful. Now this is even more powerful. You know, I've got sh shots coming out my butthole as well. That's that's a positive. I don't know why things come in as cubes and then get fucking CG'd into like sh ships. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Chris Walken Puss in Boots movie. That rings a bell. <laughs> The music for this is not what I'd call fucking stellar, though. I mean, it's kind of just... Alright, no. It's got, it's got voice samples. Ah. What the fuck am I fighting? What got me? Hyper bomb! Oh yeah, alright, I got better bomb now. <laughs> I, like, it's mean, but I do wish we could cast Carry Busey and more shit, you know? I mean, look, you know, it'll employ him. Probably needs the work. And alright, I'll give everybody else a script, but not Gary Busey, because <laughs> that's not what this is about. I mean, even then, like, you know, this game is, like, it's not it's, it's not inside my genre, but it's fun, you know? Like, I can sit here and I can play this for a while. I hope the boss isn't just, like, a cube. All right, that's pretty sweet. All right, well, I just circumcised that. That's good. There's, like, this whole lore thing to the fucking cubes and computer-generated bits, you know? And I just, I just don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, fuck, I belted the shit out of that. Fuck, I'm good. All right, and here we are. I almost got it done in time. I've been doing this so fucking long, I'm so very tired. And we get to end with a game that I look at but never play. Zupapa. Me papa Zupapa. <laughs> We're gonna share dads. Yeah, a dear dear. It's uh it's uh, it's the last it's the last one of the Neo Geos too. You'll have to go back and like rewatch it all for it to make sense. You know, otherwise you're going to be completely lost with what's going on. Zoo Papa? Speed up, super punch. I mean, I go infinite continues, but like, otherwise, you know, I want the raw Zoo Papa experience. <laughs> yeah. Like, Gary Busey is one of the nut bars that I do give a little bit of leeway to on account of it's legitimately an acquired piece of brain damage, <laughs> you know? Like, there are a few like that where it's like, oh, you're missing a piece of your forebrain, and that's not good. Like, you know, something did happen to you. Like, we don't have to wonder, you know? All right. I got to pick up my children from daycare and then throw them at Samurai. That's weird. That wasn't what I was expecting. And then, okay, what does that do? It turns them into fruit. Am I turning them into my children? Oh, I can drop down through shit for this one. I mean, this isn't really... All right, well, there's a punch. But this isn't really what I'd call a great... I mean, I, you know, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm fucking doing. Come to me, my children. Uh, fucking Deruder or whatever the fuck his name is. What does that do? You know? Okay, maybe if I like fucking ah, uh, how dare you, sir? How dare you? Like I think if I've got them surrounded by my feral children, like some of them just explode. You know, like they really should just be making more Snow Brothers games. Like get back here, you little bastard. Okay, the stars explode and they touch them, and then if the stars touch you. Alright, 
than the fucking I right. I will cover you with children. Yeah, yeah. Feral's just hurling fucking infants at you. Oh god damn it. How dare you dodge my baby. Oh, he's fucking min uh, fucking did I get hurt there? God damn it. Give me back my belly fruit. Get back here. I'll cover you with babies. Yeah, shut up. I mean, imagine that though. Like, and like, you gotta understand, feral children. It's like fighting a possum. You know, like you're not gonna. Are they gonna kill you? No, but they're wiry. You know, and they're just a hassle. Okay. But what happens when you can deflect my children? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, get him. Get him. Get fucked. I mean, look, it's not awful, but, like, not exactly the cream of the goddamn crop. I mean, it does move a lot faster than the other one of these, like the fucking whatever it was called. I think it started with B. Ah, oh, give me shit. Na 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 na. All right, chat. So, what was your favorite of the Neo Geos? You know, I mean, the general ones that I come back to frequently. A World Hero is perfect. Um. Mm. Uh, what else? You know, I do play SVC from time to time. Probably not as much as I used to play. I probably play World Heroes Perfect more often. Um, I play Shock Troopers a fair bit, just because it's a great, you know, a great pick up and play, and it's quite a long game. And there's quite a lot of variety to it, so you really can go back, you know. Savage Rain I play occasionally just for yucks, um, but you know, it is part of that fucking thing where I just, you know, um, I like playing it because it uses that like old. Neo Geo sprite system you just don't see anywhere these days like I'm really waiting for like you know the problem is the pixel artists do all these lovely like little bespoke animated things but they don't look like this you know I want I want this to come back for a bit uh, I quite like real bout um, one that's a lot of fun uh, you know I might play prehistoric isle a little bit just because I quite enjoy it uh, ninja commando ninja combat they're good old reliables you know turf masters I've just been playing this like, cause I discovered there's a guy, like, fucking, oh yeah, the Metal Slugs. I mean, Metal Slug is just, I don't know, like, I don't even think Neo Geo when I think Metal Slug. I just think Metal Slug, you know, it's like, it's, it's a whole thing of its own. Like, that's just how, you know, fucking, how much of a thing it is. Blinkle Star Sprites had a lot going for it, cause it's quite unique. You know, like, the fact that it's just, it really evolves the shooter idea. So, because I figured out, like, you can, you can pick the fucking, oh yeah, look, Australian just recovering. That's amazing. But, like, yeah, the German guy can whack the fucking crap out of the ball and whack it at, like, fucking, it goes where you fucking put it. So, like, the end result is, like, you can really get some shit going with this guy. You know, like, look at that. Fucking almost there and fucking one, you know? But the problem is he's like, he hits too hard, so like, I gotta like, really learn to, you know? So if you get it into the green, it, you get like a mega shot, you know? So that'll actually go farther than what it says down at the bottom there. I mean, like, yeah, like, great sprite work. It's a little bit, you know, it's arcadey, but it's not, like, kind of goofy. Like, it isn't, you know, you're not, like, setting the ball on fire or, you know, launching fucking missiles at your opponent or some shit. 
I really wanted to get that fucking maximum blast. Um, he's probably one of the other guys, you know, that didn't get much screen time in Happy Gilmore. You know, not Shooter McGavin. Uh, we got the yeah, see, I'll, I like to go down to the 130 and then max it out because it will, it will go that fucking far. Damn it! On the green. Player one, try. Birdie. I did it. I got an eagle once, and he has a whole like fucking thing. That was a wild eagle too, cause like I belted it and it got stuck in the rough, and I just I, I like slam dunked the fucking ball right into the hole off the rough. I hate this hole. The hole eats my fucking ring, cause you gotta overshoot a heap, and I hate doing that. Cause it's like it's on this weird mound. That's the best approach I've had on this one. On the green. I got, like, because I know all these sound files exist somewhere. I got to get on the green. Um, yeah, this is this is it. This is the last day. I'm finished. Like, I'm finished. I played Zupapa. I don't know if you were watching. We got Zupapa. Um, Ring is a... I think it's originally, like, English. I like the little girl talking there. Um, English term for your, your sphincter. Like, the, the, you know, the anal, the anal sphincter. Um, and it obviously made the migration to Australia. And it, uh, it's a personal favorite. Because you can, like, ring hole, it would get, uh, tight. You see? Look at that. Fucking found my guy. And, like, because he, but he hits so fucking hard, you didn't even have to fuck, you can hit over the water. Who fucking cares? You know? Um... Uh, a bit, bit too much. Rough. Rough. But like, Ring would like wind up getting like fused with hole. And so you get like Ring Hole as like a fucking insult. Um, I can't figure out the fucking rough shots because sometimes I, I, I go real low because obviously it's not that far, but then I don't have the power to get out of the fucking rough. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I've never been able to figure these out. That's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. Fucking gonna beat my caddy tonight. He's like, he's, he's alright. Um, yeah, Durian, that's how it's pronounced in Australia. There was like, in Australia, so Australia was one of the few places that actually had like its own, you know, companies. Well, Seeker was one of the few companies in Australia that like had an Australian department. That's one of the reasons why Seeker was big in Australia. It was called Seeker Aussie Soft. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make that. I think I gotta like fucking nip this in the bud. Too hard, fuck. Triple fuck, butter fuck. I'm gonna see if I can make it just like fucking belt the shit out of it from here. Like I don't know if I will, I think I won't, but I'm just curious. Alright. Okay. Come on baby, come on. Ah, oh, it hit a tree! Now I'm mad. Um, yeah, so in Australia it was called Sega. And it was pronounced that way for fucking ages. And people will say, you know, oh, the fucking Mega Drive said Sega. And it's like, yeah, that was a 16-bit fucking console. If you listen to any fucking sounds from a 16-bit console, you are not going to get useful pronunciation tips. Like, there are a few ads you used to get in Australia, too. Like, it would be like the, um, you know, it was this way up until Dreamcast. Like, I, you know, 
the Seagull rep was at the Dreamcast launch that I went to. Like, it was, you know, he worked for Sega. And make, again, like, Sega would make sense if it were, like, I don't know, Latin American or something. Like, if the game, if the fucking company came from Brazil and didn't just absorb Brazil somehow, um, then, you know, yeah, you could, you could argue that it's Sega, but it's not. It's just fucking stupid. That's not the way that word would be pronounced. You can beat the caddy in one of those games? Yeah, kiss my ring piece. Ring piece is... I, I do love ring piece. That is a good one. Ring piece... Ring piece, because, like, again, in Australia, it's like ring all, which, like, it, it blurs, and it becomes really, like, you know... It's, it's, a, it's very low class. Whereas, like... And, that, and what that does is it winds up giving ring piece this, like, almost posh quality, which it just shouldn't have, because no posh person is going to call you a fucking ring. <laughs> you ring... Um, Tekken Tag Tournament for the PS2. I don't know. Like, I'm not really a Tekken guy. Like, I mean, for starters, I don't have time to read an encyclopedia's worth of move list that are all, like, just diagonal on this button or diagonal on that button and then diagonal on the, a second button. Like, they're just, you know, they're what I'd qualify as very fidgety fucking games, so they're just not really me. I like 2D fighters. Working girl. But yeah, you know, it's it's been a fun ride the fucking what six weeks of Neo Geo. You know, we saw a mouse mutant kill a guy. We played some cyber lip, some eight man. Got to, you know, view the joy that was the entire Fetal Furry series. You know. You know, the old KOFs. Still fun. Still worth playing. I mean, I generally play a lot of the fighters outside, obviously, where my arcade stick and, you know, it, I can use the arcade stick on the cabinet because it's, like, how they work. But, um, you know, a lot of these, like, I'm not going to fucking stand outside of the arcade cabinet to play fucking, you know, Turf Masters. And there's a lot more fun to sort of just play in here. Um, but yeah, that's, that is pretty much the, uh, meat and potatoes of the Neo Geo. Uh, there was the Neo Geo Hyper 64, but it was kind of its own thing. Like, you know, it did, it did have the Neo Geo name in it, but it wasn't on that software. Oh, no, it wasn't on that hardware. Um, it's recently been largely effectively emulated in MAME. Um, I think the music skips or is not present in some of them, but they, you can actually play Buraiki 1, um, and the 3D Samurai Showdowns. The 3D Fatal Fury did get ported to the PlayStation, but, you know, that was the only one. Uh, there's also, like, a 3D driving game that's, like, sort of, I think, based on one of the, like, kind of overtop style um, drivers. I think a lot of them are more sort of interesting from a historical perspective, though I do think that the 3D Fatal Fury is actually a, a perfectly good game. You know, it's a little bit like Street Fighter EX, where it uses 3D graphics, but it's largely a, you know, a 2D fighter. And it's just, you know, it's fun. A little bit of a zhuzh, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, these were the games that you would play in the 90s. You would go to a local bodega that usually have, like, a, a single stand-up cabinet with a multi, you know, uh, the, you know, the MVS, the multi-video system in it, and it would, um... You know, you'd, sometimes you'd have a choice between games. A lot of the time, it would just be like a real cheap sort of knockoff that would uh, have just a game in it. But, you know, you'd go... I remember riding my bike down the way to play uh, King of Fighters uh, 97 at a bodega, and you had to play on the two-player side because if you pushed the fucking start button for... I don't know, the, the start button for the single-player side worked, but the light kick button didn't. If you pushed, like, the two-player pl two fucking stick, it would spend both of your fucking credits, but, like, both of the fucking uh, the controls actually worked. So you kind of wound up just having, like, a practice match against the, you know, player one. Which honestly wasn't bad. Like, it did waste a fucking credit, which was annoying, but, like, you got to learn a little bit. But, yeah. You know, now I'm just sitting around getting older, waiting for someone to go back and do, like, you know... Something, something a little closer, you know, a, f a fighting game or something a little closer to this, like, particularly the, you know, art of fighting style, like this kind of, like, real big, you know, maybe animated better, but, you know, sprites like this, 
You know, all of it's really in that fucking complex pixel art thing at the moment, you know? And it's like, look, that's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad, you know. I think Pocket Bravery looks amazing. Like, you know, go play that if you haven't. But like, god damn it, you know, I want something like this. I just want to I want a redux of Art of Fighting that like lets you play as all the characters, tighten some of the mechanics, you know. Get something really good. Uh, the Zhuzh version is Polari. So that's like the gay thieves cant from uh, England. Uh, just means to spice something up. Um, but yeah. That's Neo Geo, baby. Like I said, if you, you know, these are great pick up and play games. If you've got one of those little handhelds, absolutely get the fucking Neo Geo set. Because you'll find something that's fucking great to sit and play on, like a bus stop or something like that. Um, you know, like. Not, you know, none of the games really are what you'd call a proper fucking um, home game exactly. But we are waiting on the English translation for the full Samurai Showdown RPG for the Neo Geo CD. And, uh, you know, that's been a work in progress for quite a while. Uh, I think a French guy is translating it. I follow him on Twitter. Um, you know, he's getting close to being finished. And that's a, it's a full, you know, RPG using like Neo Geo Arcade or, you know, the Neo Geo CD, but it's basically the same thing. Um, sprites and stuff like that. And it's an RPG where you play as the fucking Samurai Showdown characters and you have like a turn-based battle system and, you, you know, there's a bunch of plot and lore and shit like that. And that never got translated to English because there are a bunch of fucking ring holes. And, you know, there was like an early kind of fan translation that sort of worked. And I think there was a fan translation into French. But, uh, yeah, everyone's been really sort of eagerly awaiting... You know, me particularly, getting that. Uh, Mugen's not a fighting game exactly. Mugen's like a an engine that you can sort of put characters in. It's not a uh, it's not a fighting game by itself. People will, can make kind of like their own fighting games out of it if they sort of are good at what they're doing. Um, there are a few. Um, as far as I know, a lot of the quality has moved to Ikemen. Because um, it lets you do more stuff. Uh, that's the, uh, I'm pretty sure Ikemen is what the, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Justice League game, uh, is done on. I think a new version of that just came out recently as well. That's worth checking out if you haven't. Um, just look up Ninja Turtles. I think it's like Ninja Turtles x Justice League or something like that. Um, you know, that's tons of fun. I think, uh, me and Amber played, like, the, uh, the first version of it on, um, of, uh, for a record one day. Um... But, uh, yeah, that is, uh, blessedly, the fucking end to this. Um, I don't know, I will probably, I might take next Saturday off just so I have, like, a proper weekend. But, um, I don't know, in future we'll probably do something like a subscriber Saturday where, you know, one of the patrons gets to make a request and see me play something. Um, I am just off the bat before any of you get any stupid ideas I reserve the right to tell you to go fuck yourself I reserve the right to tell you to go fuck yourself in the middle of playing it um, and the general warning will be don't think you're being fucking clever because uh, you'll just annoy me you will just fail and it will annoy me and I will punish you severely um, but yeah you know be able to uh, Maybe a theme day or something, you know, if you want to see something specific. If you want to see me go back over, you know, like one of the games I've looked at in DOS and just thought, you know, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I don't want to fiddle around too much with it, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, like, in it, you know, like, I'm not even that bothered about furry porn games. At least make it a good one, you know, like if it's, if it's, if there's a game and it has porn, that's one thing. If it's porn with, like, a threadbare fucking game around it, that's entirely another. Um, but that's just, again, that's just an overall, that's just an overall rule. Um, you know, I'm not putting up with... I'm 40 years old, and I've been on the internet a long time, and I know better than to let any of you dipshits do anything. Um, well, we're, we're getting up to Curse of Enchantia soon anyway. You know, that'll, that'll be on the list. I mean, I, I, I mean, broadly, I wouldn't recommend a point and click just because, you know, 
not a whole hell of a lot to them in terms of gameplay. They're just sort of me sort of trying to figure out what sort of twisted goddamn logic they attempt to uh, uh, use to solve the fucking things. But, I don't know, we'll play that by ear. If you are absolutely positively, thoroughly desperate to um, see a fucking point-and-click adventure game, I don't know, maybe. I'll see how we go. Um, hey, look at that, 290 members, 1727, we're going up. I knew abusing you would work. I really did. That's the worst part. I knew just calling you people. See, Amber's nice, you know? It's always like, oh, you know, if you've got money and like, you know, we like you. And I was just like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, there are people in cults and various abusive relationships for a reason. You know, it, 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 it does work. That's, you know, but the, the, the trick is to abuse with like, you know, like I don't want all of your fucking money. Like I'm not going to be like one of those televangelists that takes your grandma's last fucking red cent so she dies choking to death on her own spittle because she can't afford fucking health care. But, you know, if it's between this and another candy bar, you're going to stuff down your fucking bloated gullet, then no, I'm going to have that. All right. Um, we might be getting some recording done tomorrow. Oh, my voice box. DOS will start Monday to Friday. Um, you know, anybody fucking... Um, fucking whatever the hell... Um, I thought about jailbreaking a PS Vita, but most of the available, like, the decent Chinese handhelds these days are better than a Vita for emulation. Like, the one I've got actually runs Mortal Kombat 9 on the unbelievably early, um, Vita Android emulator, uh, called Vita 3K, and it runs it perfectly. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that either, you know, but, uh, the Vita itself as an emulation system, it kind of struggles. Like the, what what the Vita has going for it is obviously native Vita and native PSP support, and that is really and that is good. But like the PSP support, like I can play the uh, God of Wars on my um, Pocket Three Plus. I think one of the um, one of the Silent Hills doesn't work properly, but I think that's a problem with the V with um, PPSSPP. I don't, I don't think that's a problem with the fucking thing. Um. I mean, I'd, I'd wait at the moment. If, you, if, you, if you're going to buy a handheld, I'd wait a little while. I, because I'm an enthusiast, uh, pre-ordered the uh, game something Ace. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it uses the kind of next iterative step up from the T816 chipset, which I think the, I think is a T816, which is in the, um, uh, the Pocket 3 Plus. Uh, it will have very solid PS2 and GameCube and stuff like that. Um, personally, if I were getting one, I'd probably, <sighs> I mean, if you, if you can get like a, it's, I don't know, it's hard. There's a, there's a, there's a lot involved. Like, you know, I want something that I can fit in my pocket. You know, I want something that I can travel with. All of the handheld PCs are a bit too big for that. Like they're more, they're not pocket, they're travel. Like if you're going, you know, to a hotel or you're going to somewhere for a few days, and you need to stay entertained. That's what that's for. You know, I can take my pie f my pocket three on the, the fucking bus. You know, it, it, my key ring's attached to it. Um, welcome to Money Chimp. The Game Force Ace. Yeah, I pre-ordered that. Because the pre-order was like something really fucking small. It was like $200 when if you ordered before October 10th. Now it's like up significantly. And I was like, you know what? The, the fucking Game Force Chi was the last console. Wasn't great. It was like quite weak. But it, the build was reasonable. And that's the only thing they've done, but the build being, you know, so fairly solid, you know what, it's worth $200, I reckon they'll probably, you know, if they don't knock it out of the park, it'll work. And ultimately that's, you know, that's all I want. Because um, there's just, there's nothing else in the terms of a solid upgrade that isn't hideously fucking expensive. You know, like you're getting into the Aya and the Ains and the fucking, you know, various other high-enders and like, I don't want to spend $500 on this, you know, like I just don't. Um, if you've got the money, you know, great, you know, yeah, go for it. Um, I'd, personally, I'd probably get one of the Android ones, unless you are hell-bent on a pocket PC, you know, then grab a fucking Steam Deck or something if you can, you know, check some of the reviews on YouTube, they're usually reliable. Uh, 
Yeah, the game plus Ace. Uh, but, you know, I like Android because just none of the pocket PCs have the sleep battery and stuff. Like, the ability to put an Android system to sleep, wake it up, play, put it to sleep again. I've never seen a, p a fucking, you know, Windows system or even one of the Linux ones really be able to fucking match that. And, like, hold, hold charge, too. Like, these things can, like, the fucking Pocket 3 Plus can hold a fucking charge. Overnight, it'll drop, like, maybe 2 or 3%. And, you know, that's what I want in something that I put in my pocket to walk around with. But, you know, we're getting off track. This, this can be a, we'll do, you know, one of you will have to do a subscriber Saturday on, like, fucking, I don't know, handhelds, because, you know, there is a lot to it, and I've been fidgeting with these things for, like, the better part of 10 years now. Um, but, okay, where are we? What time is it? Something. 20 to 4. I'm tired. I'm sure you've got, like, fucking, I don't know, cordwood to stack or whatever it is you people do on your downtime. Um, remember, keep an eye on my Twitter, which is in the fucking YouTube. Uh, go to the website if you haven't looked at that yet. Lots of stuff there if you're bored. The live section has all of these and all of the back catalogue of the Dos Vidanias and the other, you know, had fun with the uh, uh, Resident Evil containment last night. Have more fun with it fucking next Friday. Looking forward to that. Uh, Patreon's up. Head pats for all of you little critters that uh, obeyed me. You know, your life won't get any better, but it'll, you know... It'll end soon, eventually, anyway, so, yeah. Uh, until then, tell your friends, tell your therapists, watch my show, or I'll bash your fucking kids.